In his first interview since taking command of British Forces Germany, Major General John Henderson has told this programme that even as Britain is preparing to withdraw its troops from Germany, his top priority is maintaining and even improving support services to the military community there. Refusing to be drawn on media speculation that the pullout may be proving too costly and could be delayed, he said he expects a withdrawal timetable to emerge by spring next year. From Ryan Dallin, Rob Olver reports. If anyone seems qualified to command headquarters British Forces Germany, it's Major General John Henderson. He speaks fluent German and has spent 15 of the past 30 years in the country, including a spell commanding Gutteslo Garrison. But there are a lot of people for whom this is not necessarily somewhere that they want to come to, you know, and it's quite difficult to get people, particularly as they get older and uh, they settle down, buy houses, you know, spouses get jobs, children go into local schools. So. It's absolutely vital that we have a really attractive package and part of that is making sure that the, service, that the support services are absolutely spot on. Maintaining and improving support services that range from policing and vehicle licensing to health and education will be the General's number one priority. But how's he going to do that when budgets are shrinking and money is scarce? You don't always have to throw money at a problem to make an improvement. And, you know, there's three things that are running and uh, I'm very keen to support in the headquarters. Um, uh, and the first is we're, we're going to take another look at the BFG vehicle licensing. And I, I make the point, uh, I've just filled in the same form that I filled in in 1983. Um, and in the meantime, in the UK, DVLA has fully automated vehicle licensing. So I think we need to look across the channel and say, well, how are they doing that there? How we do this here? The General's also considering replacing the tax-free petrol coupons military personnel use at filling stations in Germany with a special prepaid charge card. And he believes he can help the force's main retailer offer more to its customers. We're looking at doing something that sounds like NAFI online, where you order online and then you collect the goods in store. Now, we're, we're helping NAFI with that, with the lawyers speaking to um, HMRC, the Revenue and Customs in the UK, and I'm really hopeful I'm t that we get a positive outcome because none of those things really will cost us money, but, but those are things that will, I hope, make a difference to the soldiers and the families of Germany. Responding to a Sunday Times report that Britain's departure from Germany could be delayed because of the costs involved, General Henderson said he expected clear withdrawal dates within a few months. My estimate would be sort of beginning you know, to spring of next year, we will have clarity and we'll have a timetable. And remember, of course, it's important we get that timetable and we stick to it because it's not just us leaving, it's what the German uh, government and the local authorities are going to do with our barracks once we've gone. So, you know, once we say we're leaving on that time, then we really have to stick to that. Closing garrisons will be another big responsibility for headquarters British Forces Germany and one its new boss wants the host nation more closely involved with. In the past we've sort of waited to hand a letter to the German authorities, say, OK, that's the day that we're leaving, we think, and that unit will close, and that was the sort of, that was the sort of level we were at. What I said is, let's now, let's now work at, and I've got agreement, that we can work with the German authorities so we can talk about jobs and talk about housing and, and use of the barracks post um, the British presence. And that sort of thing is really important because... There are people who've worked for us all their working lives and they've been very loyal to us. We will be loyal to them and we're working closely, not just with the, the German authorities, but we're working with politicians and with the unions. And at the moment, fingers crossed, we are seen as a good employer who are looking after our, our people. And I want to keep that going. But the new man at the top in British Forces Germany knows that the toughest job of all will be supporting the very last military personnel and families to serve here. It's always hard to keep um, support services going in an organisation which knows it's going to close because there's always a feeling of, well, we're not buying this, we're not doing this because we're closing. And we really have to avoid that and do everything we can. And it'll take more effort than it would to just actually run the services. It's a challenge Major General John Henderson says he's very much up for. Rob Oliver, Forces News, Rhein-Darlin.